Whatever conceptions you have about organ donation, my next guest may expand your view of what's possible and what one person can do. Nancy Nelson is a longtime radio and television personality who in 2008 lost her husband, WCCO-TV legend Bill Carlson, to prostate cancer. This November, Nancy found out that her close friend, Ellen DePhillips, was in stage four kidney failure. Nancy got tested and found out she was a match. Within weeks, Nancy and Ellen were both in surgery at the Mayo Clinic, and the result is right here, right now. And I just want to say thank you, ladies, for coming in so much. It's such a pleasure to see you again, Nancy. And, it's and good to see you as Absolutely, thank and you. to meet you, and thank you. how are you both doing? Ellen. Wonderfully, wonderfully. It's been uh, uh, four months, and I had a checkup at Mayo just last week, and the only way that they can tell whether or not you're in kidney failure or, or um, rejection. rejection is through a biopsy. Okay. So they did that, and biopsy came out clear, so smooth sailing, and I just need to continue to do as well as I'm doing and take my medication. Okay. And All right. And I know a, a number of people did get tested. Mm -hmm. Nancy Nelson, what made you think, and you, you said it was okay to give your age, you are 71, <laughs> looking amazing, but what made you think, you know, I'm going to get tested, maybe I'll give a kidney to my friend? I mean, most of us wouldn't do that, Nancy. Actually, I think almost everybody would if they just gave it a thought okay. for a moment. It, it wasn't even something I thought about. I, Ellen and her wife Stacy and I had lunch. Ellen said, I'm in stage five renal failure. They're going to have to put me on dialysis. I need to see if I can find a donor, but I don't really have any living relatives. And I said, can I go test? You look into the face of someone. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. OK, okay. so they get, you get tested. Is the test complicated? Um, it, it, not complicated, but there are many tests. Okay, all right. There's urine and blood okay. and renal and, 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 you know. But you're a match. And I'm then a do match. You think, well, gee, can I do this? I mean, did you have any doubts as to whether they would accept you? I thought they'd kick me out. In November, I was 70. I just turned 71. I thought my age would kick me out. And they said, if your numbers are good and you're healthy, you can certainly do it. And I could. <laughs> what was your reaction in hearing that Nancy was willing to do this for you? When Nancy came out of her final evaluation and said, I'm a match, and she had tears running down her eyes. And I we got these fabulous pictures here. I stood up, and, and Nancy and I were just talking about this the other day. I, I took a step back, and I thought, number one, this is wonderful, but how can I do this to my friend? How it's can a major I, surgery. It's major. How can I allow her to be in, in jeopardy? And what if something were to happen to her? And until she said that the other day, I, that wasn't on my radar at all. I never thought of that because it is so safe. And it is, Esme, it's the best thing you can do for yourself. Okay. Imagine being able okay. to do that for somebody. Right. And how are you feeling? I'm fabulous. Literally, I would never know that I even had surgery at all. Or that it's you're over. missing a kidney. Do yeah, it's over. It's done. It's just amazing. Right. Now, I know that, that you felt strongly about speaking out about this and, and expanding what people know because of the possibilities for donations. We have a link on our website to the Mayo Clinic uh, Transplant Center. What would you like people to know about your experience and, and getting a, an organ from a friend and also you, Nancy, donating it? Well, I'm obviously very fortunate uh, to have someone step up right away, um, and there are thousands of people out there that don't have that opportunity. Uh, so for Nancy and I to get out there and say, this is a procedure that can be done. You can live with one kidney. You, you know, have, get out there and have your relatives tested and, and just go with what you can. And, and how, was the, how was the recovery for you, Nancy? I mean, how, much, how long were you sort of laid out? Th there's some pain afterwards. Who cares? It's temporary. They give you some drugs. You're tired for a while. Fine. Rest. A month out, I was back at it. All right. And you? For me, it's a little different. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to go for the follow-ups and make sure everything's Every I, I had to stay down in Rochester for three and a half weeks and go every day for blood tests because they were checking how, uh, my, how protein and... and urine and everything is flushing through my kidney and see if it's accepting it. Uh, there's a really uh, strict, con uh, stringent medication uh, regime that you need to go through. So they need to monitor okay. how 
it all works. those are working. Well, I, I just want to thank both of you for coming in. I just, th your story is so touching, and I'm sure it'll move other people. To, As many thank, thank you very much. Right this minute, there are 100,000 people in oh. America on a wait list, and only 20,000 okay. will get a kidney this year. Right. Anybody can do this. All right. Anybody. Thanks, Nancy Nancy and Ellen, thank, thank you so you much very for coming much. In. Let's go